Wasakan. Spy. Colorful. Habagsik. Mind blowing. Challenging. Electrified. Fabulous. Malupit. Exquisite. Fierce. Gera na. Lurugan. Extreme. Galvanizing. Badass. League of Legends. Collegiate League. 2016. Spring Term. December 13th. 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 2015. 3pm. 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 Onwards. Hashtag get school. Vacation's over. Vacation is over. Manjing, why are you here? Because, brother, hello, your boy. Welcome to the Love Digital League, guys. This is spring term. Right now, it's the finals. And what can you say about the uh, the game previously? Brave, University of Iloilo, man. Kithera is a god as an ADR. I just okay. bow down to you. Please, like, share me your your secrets. Your secrets. Because I need to learn to rock up. Because I mean, the variety in Kithera's champion pool. We've seen him. Play Jin now Twitch. I think I haven't seen him play Twitch ever as a lot of League so far. But right now he brought it to the finals, and it worked out really, really well for University of Ilo. Ilo. Meanwhile, what do we have in store for our viewers right now? For yeah. All right, guys. So malapit na natin matapos or makamit ang napakatamis na 5K milestone natin ngayon sa view sa viewership of the stream. So why not, you know? Share it to your friends. Sabi niyo pare. Ano ngayon? Saturday ngayon. No tayo ng LCL 2016 finals para manalo tayo ng Libring Frosted Ezreal. Yes. And kung mabot tayo ng 8,000 Academy Ari naman. We also have of course still the ultimate code that shall be given away during each and every single one of these games as well as the share and win. Of course, nakita nyo na yan. There's the DJ, DJ Sona, the Pulse Fire Ezreal, and... Spirit Guard Udyr. Yappy. All right. So we also have... Okay, I told this a while ago. The milestone. We uh -huh. are now nearing that 5K viewership. So guys, again, we would like to invite you to share the stream link and have more people you know, have fun and watch these very explosive games. Yeah. University of Iloilo just being dominant. But we're still in our third game. It's not over yet. It's not over till it's over talaga, diba? Yes, just to remind you guys, para sa mga nag-anticipate sa unlock and win prize, will be credited within within 10 working days. So para dyan sa mga nag-comment, asa na yung RP ko, asa na yung skin ko, it's gonna be credited within 10 working days. Yes. Patience, Patience is a virtue. virtue. Yes. All right, so let's go into game three in this best of five series. It's going to be the Bannon, Bannon pick face style, Rumble, Corky, and Velkos. Actually, I'm not surprised to see the Corky ban. Nakita naman natin si Study. I think that was in the semifinals. Kalaban nila yung University of the Philippines. Stuzzy or a Corky nakakuha siya ng pentakill. Very, very safe positioning and definitely knows how to use the delivery package in a very effective way during team fights. Kaya parang sinasabi na ng UI, naban ba ito kanina? Yung yes. Corky. Ayun. Kaya every na, single game. Every single game. So ayun, parang ayaw nila pakawalan yung secret weapon ng Our Lady of Fatima University. Although I'm, I do not understand yung yung rumble ban kasi napaka inconsistent naman yung performance kahit saan PGS LCL very consistent ang performance ng isang rumble uh, either top lane or jungle jungle yung pinaka common na ngayon but i guess they have sort of scouted siguro meron meron si si Torkick baka ano siya re recognized rumble player siya or even si Juan Tamad meanwhile echo not a ban you see all the time na ban ba siya kanina Aside from the Corky, Echo was a top priority ban talaga because we do know Quantum Hut is oh, yeah. that explosive Echo player, but he has been doing well with the other picks that he has, you know, chosen. Still not enough. Maybe kung nakuha nila yung Echo, it could, you know, just tilt over University of Iloilo. But yeah, if you actually look dun naman sa banned pick phase ngayon, it's been already the Phantom University always banning out the recent yeah, game. Yeah, the recent. And the thing is, why don't they ban Thresh? I think it's a, it's a worthy ban. We've seen Thresh bans sa competitive play yeah. in other regions, especially kung prominent and very... Uh, like, like me. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, pag, pag alam nila kalaban nila ako sa, ano, sa custom games, oh, ban niyo yung Thresh ni Asaray pa na-support yan. Wow. 
Hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam. Yeah, ako ang stretch platinum PH. <laughs> platinum, hindi yeah. ko pagmamayabang na challenge. Self-proclaimed? Yeah, platinum. Self-proclaimed. Yeah. Fresh. Okay, uh -oh. sige. We'll go with that. Sure, Asrai, sure. Anyway, me, that's, that's, ki ay, kitera tuloy. That's, apos na yung bla, bla, ma, bla, bla. Okay, bla. Like a, like a, apos na yung bla. 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 <laughs> ay, naku, Asrai. So, apos, apos na yung bla. Very, very effective on the Thresh. I'm still wondering why Ulfu does not ban this. Because even that you cannot outban Amir Khan, you cannot outban um, Kithera. Kithera either. So might as well um, ban the, the champions that work well with these two power threats of University of Ilo Ilo. And I do think Thresh is one of their key fact is one of the key factors kung bakit kanila pa sila successful. Meanwhile, uh, our Lady of Fatima University getting picks. I mean, they're banning away you know, the recent games, nga, champions from the recent games, and they're taking away champions that happened in the previous game. So, parang, okay, pag naubusan na tayo ng ban, let's get the, the their, their champions. Oh, that's a Zed Hover. I wonder if they're gonna lock this in, though. Yeah. I'm just wondering, London, like, um, in the previous matches of University of Iloilo, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm not even, you know, uh -huh. like, pinning her down. But, Kathy has been that inconsistent player in the recent games of University of Iloilo. Yes. Wait. Shoot. There you go. And I don't know, because one Taman has shown himself to be a, car a carry centric Taman, then a top laner. Why not put him on a much more aggressive top laner than a Nautilus? Then I would say a um, Poppy. Allow him to, you know, be able to overcome Kathy, and then that just puts him as that pressure. Uh, that pressure player in that top lane that can split push and that, that allows to mitigate the pressure of the other members of early Defender University. Stussy, he has been doing well in the early game. Yeah. But in the mid game, in the late game, we've seen him, you know, I would say like choke a little bit uh -huh. in the terms that he, he, his uh, spirit rushes as well as his Ari, Ari wasn't as explosive as I thought it would be. Because yeah. that's what you're going to point of entry nila against UI and then Joe Bim he's been getting caught out so many times for some you know for like yeah. every single point of this game actually you're right about that I kind of noticed Joe Bim's positioning during team fights it there was a point that na, nasa harap talaga siya you're vain you're gonna be caught out easily by two hook hookers tito that's not a list and I know. Yeah, yeah so hookers. it's it's really difficult as an ADC who has only tumble as the as the escape uh, sort of dodge mechanism to, to dodge those hooks. But you know, if one hook misses, there's another one coming at you. And especially if Morgana is not nearby, that, uh, this is based on the previous game. If Morgana is not nearby, talagang you're very, very vulnerable. insta kill ka. Especially late game na puyon. That's three power threats from University of Iloilo. That's an Oriana, a Graves. And uh, Twitch, so wala talaga magagawa yung Vayne yun. Kahit late game Vayne will not be able to do anything. Because yeah. the late game scaling ng UI kanina, mas maganda, mas malaki yung damage nila. Very solid. Yeah. Life as soon as I think UI, every single composition that they have been building can go for team fights. Yeah. Yeah, so again, they go for another team fight composition here with the Jarvan, the Hot Pot. Oh! And they're gonna use that oh. Cataclysm. So that's perfect. So the. You really have to copy me, huh? So, that's perfect. I guess this is the first time I'm gonna see um, Jarvan here in the LCL. PH competitive oh, yeah. play. Because it's been a while. It used to be like... Wait, Lee Sin is the king of the jungle, but then... Jarvan is a prince, yeah, prince of the jungle, I guess. Because there was a there was a time where lang Jarvan, 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 this, Jarvan, Jarvan that. Jarvan this, Jarvan that. Oh, but it looks like he's back. He got buffed in Cataclysm now with the AoE damage. Yeah. And I think they're gonna play this really well. I do, I do think this is a sort of perfect naren for for UI because just imagine Soul Shackles and then Cataclysm and then the rockets of of Jinx. The yeah. AOE rockets of Jinx is gonna be really painful. And there's a lot of people to peel them on for her. There's a spell shield as well, although. More damage threat. The scaling for Olfu, meanwhile, 
I like the scaling of Ulfu because a lot of there's three power threats. They do have poke as well. They have the zoning potential because of Anivia, the glacial storm, the glacial storm, and the wall, and the what do you call this? The pillar of filth as well from from the uh, trin tr tr trundle. Trundle. Trundle what, what trundle mirror. Trundle mirror. The the trundle. So <laughs> Ulfu has to play their cooldowns right in time where they're gonna use their CCs to to you know Stop try to the deny aggression. UI yeah. uh because -oh. maybe may pagka all in naman din tong UI because Jarvan once he goes in he can't get out kung narin kung flash kung may wala siyang flash he's in trouble same goes for Poppy but he does have a mode of disengage naman same goes for Morgana very important din yung kanyang zonas yeah. because you have to get those soul shackles in to get uh, to be very very effective meanwhile Olfu has the advantage in terms of repositioning themselves in a team fight, they have they have dashes, they have um, arcane shifts, and the walls. You so got many walls. So many walls. You got two walls there for them. Yeah. Oh wow! This is the game of terrain, GOT. Wow. Yeah, because like there's the cataclysm, as well as you know the crystalline wall, and like you said already the, the ice. The pillar of filth. I don't think you can call it pillar of filth anymore because pillar like, of ice. <laughs> Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the device. Wow, I like that. The the game of terrain. The game. Yeah, that's an article title. I'm gonna write that down right yeah. now. Yeah. Imaginary like pet. A zillion ways to win. Yes, a zillion ways to win. What else? Or then. Um, uh, the. Uh, the I, I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> I I was looking at like the comments for that and, wow, these puns are getting worse. Worse and worse. <laughs> And then Shinbu commented, I told them to stop, but they did not listen. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're all like, GG well played. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all fun in games. Yep. Yeah, it's all fun in games. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like waiting for me until yeah, someone actually. loses an eye <laughs> or something? No. I was waiting for it. It's just fun in games, guys. Listen. So now we are going into game three. This is... Yeah, game, game three. Game oh my three. god. This is a lot of <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Spring, Spring term, term finals. finals! Again, we are Shotcasters for Game Plan, of course. GS Astro with an eye alongside here with me is. GS Riku! With a U. You. Yeah. Really? You. <laughs> face palm, face desk. <laughs> anyway. What the hell is a face desk? So you have to actually hit the desk if you're gonna do that. But I can't. Oh. No, not now. Not <laughs> Sayang, on guys, air. I think it's a auto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, parang, it's so. I actually have to give it to Olfu here. They lost two straight matches, and they they have to keep their composure. Their composure, their yeah. composition, their composure. Because it has been. It's not really completely stopped. Game one was a stop. Game two, they had a chance, but it's just that late game just came. Uh, also wasn't able to do anything but yeah we'll see how are they gonna perform are they gonna get a reverse sweep here against University of Ilo Ilo oh, once again this is the Law Collegiate League 2016 Spring Finals this is game three between University of Ilo Ilo versus Our Lady of Fatima University all right so again welcome to the Summoner's Rift in the blue side we have University of Ilo Ilo in the top lane it's gonna be Kathy on the poppy in the jungle Tress shall be our Jarvan the Prince of the Jungle in the mid lane it's gonna be Amir Khan with the darkness that's going to be the Morgana. And in the bottom lane, too, we have Kithera, the god ADC on the Jinx, and his support will be Apas Dion Blah Blah on the Thresh for the third time. And oh, Whoop. it's going to be the level one engages. There goes the hook, there goes the damage on the Thresh, forces him to flash out. And Bala will take so much damage, but he's tanky enough. Oh, Amir Khan actually flashes in. What was that for? Oh, okay, he wanted to get the kill onto Juan Tamad. But it's only going to be the flashes being burnt and nobody wow. going down. That was a three man, I believe, flash frost or stun there coming in from Stussy. Though no damage, or no, rather, no kills shall result from that, uh, you know, just a hey, what's up, hey, hello in that dragon side. So that's obviously a loss from University of Ilo Ilo. Three summoner spells burned, two flashes, and one ignite gone instantly. What? Uh, magto two minutes pa lang tayo sa game. Yeah. Meanwhile, that's only a heal being consumed here in Our Lady of Fatima University side. So great job for managing uh, the their positioning and not being able to get stunned by Stussy. 
Sayano, three man stun din yon. But there, there's no follow up. Everybody was just too low and lost a bunch of some spells already. Yeah, because, you know, in a two, uh, best of five series din naman, I mean, there is that point wherein the guys who are on top do tend to be a bit more cocky as, you know, they think, ay, so na, mananala na tayo, baka yung, ano na, na psycho gaming na, oh my god, Manjin, please. Na psycho gaming na natin yung, kala yung kalaban natin. And that actually might be a point of return, you know, the comeback is real for the side of early the Fatim University. Yes, this is outside of the game, but you know, the psyche, the mindset of the players is also important because, well, kung wala kang, you know, if you're feeling down and you don't want to play anymore, it's just not worth it, yeah. right? So, yeah. if they're gonna hang in there, if their perseverance, their might is, is still there, early the Fatim University can still win and you know, mount that comeback. Yeah, I kind of wonder if we're going to get a game five today because a best five series, hold a thought. Oh, Wura might get caught out here. He does have his flash. He does go over the wall. Oh my god, there is another beautiful hook coming in from Bala. And there we go, Katera gets the first blood. What a nice play there. Yeah, and the thing is, even though in a flash C, were uh, just to avoid the the knockup by Jarvan, there was still a backup engage, which was the Thresh. And again, this is what I've been telling you guys from first, dun palang sa sa champ select. Why don't they ban the Thresh? It yeah. is the formula that completes the victory. Uh, it's a common factor between oh, these two victories. Okay. American a bit too ballsy here, but he is gonna be. Flashing, or actually, he flashed already. Was Kathy though? He was kind of ballsy there to stop Torchic from stealing his own blue. Cause right off the bat, Stussy was right behind him, looking for the kills. Yeah. Ha -cha -cha. <laughs> we had to add that. Knock up ah. onto the bird. Bird is the word. Can you get the stun? We're here. Two v two. Spell immune. Nah. See Tress, but. Nothing happens as Stussy actually oh. doesn't even flash. Oh, he goes in, nice. but doesn't get the stun onto Dress. Nice descending wall will stop at least a bit of the movement of that Jarvin. And Torchic finally gets a kill with the Buckshot. That was a nice collapse by Olfu here, but there's some action here in the top lane. All right, Kathy here, as well as Huantama just going at it. <laughs> Another with the hammer and the anchor. anchor is this is this like you know the new matchup right now yeah it was like a fiora and poppy before but now it's just the nautilus and poppy very very common matchup wow wow speaking of matchups you don't have a matchup against bala those hooks are just too insane but no kills happen but still i like to say how insane they are man that thresh lord apas die and blah i mean seriously i'm going back to champ select they they Ban Kithera and Amir Khan as much as you want, but this guy is, well, not the hook lord at the moment, but he has been making the plays for the team for University of Iloilo, really sinking well with Kithera kanina pa. And of course, the, uh, obviously, wala pong vision, nobody has those side stones yet as of this moment, but well protected naman si, uh, si Nautilus here. And looks like the rounds the Jarvan. What happened oh. to in a what's up, bro? Yeah. Um, I was just about to say about the Jarvan that because Stress actually died, he went back and got himself a hunter's potion. So he's gonna be much more onto that farming side though, I guess. In terms of your gag ability, even without the red buff or even a chilling smite, the flag and drag is a very viable option to initiate fights. Okay, looks like something is gonna happen here. Top lane gank, there you go. There's the hero charge coming out of Huantama. Doesn't connect with the dark binding, but there's three people here. Oh, he doesn't connect the knockups. Huantama, he's gonna go down with the auto attack coming in from the Morgana, and it's going to be Chase Israel. Wow. Hi, that was just a pixel so close from Amir Khan. <laughs> Yeah, that was insane. I mean, the skill shots are real, but the rage is just too uh, far not to reach Torkic. I mean, pa minsan nakakaloko yun. The animation, akala mo tatama, yung pala, hindi. Paasa lang, no, Azrae? Okay, grabe, ha? Ako rin naman yung iniisip mo pag, pag sa mga hugot, eh. Alam, alam mo na, sige na. I've been putting ako, you ako on the yung... spot for how yeah. many years? How many years? <laughs> How many months? Uh, yeah, almost two years na ata. Uh, exactly, right. <laughs> o nga, o nga pala. Yeah. Okay so, lang yun. Mahahanap ko rin si Do. The Juan. <laughs> Ayan o, ayun na pala si The Juan. Sa top, Ayan o, si The Juan sa mahal. <laughs> so, 
anyway, I mean, uh, that was a great gang. Obviously, communication is there. Amir Khan, Tress, uh, collapsing onto the Nautilus. Wala sila magagawa. Doon and poor kick almost died there. Kung tumama man yung binding nun kanina. And it looks like they're reading Ofu very well here. They're at the right place at the right time. Imbis na makakagak, makakapatay itong si, si La Torquic. Hindi pa siya level 6, though. Uh, makakapatay sana dun sa top lane against x Cathy. It could have been a 1v2. And they're like, surprise! It's actually a 1v, a 2v3. And right now, you can see how important Vision is for University of Iloilo. Look at that Christmas lights. Grabe! Okay, magang Christmas, pero... Meralco. Meralco. Grabe! <laughs> Hindi sila nagsasayang yeah. ng... I mean, they're not wasting their, their war. They're like, putting it in ev everywhere. Like, there is a deep war there in the jungle of uh, Olku. Spotting. Oh, wala na yung red buff. Most likely, dito naman si Graves. Baka mag sila sa bot lane. Because galing pa lang siya sa top. Wala na siyang uh, camps kuku din doon. And you can see the investment dito ng, ng University of Iloilo. Everybody's well protected. And there's a pink, a protective pink ward there in the bot side. Whereas Nautilus wouldn't be able to make a teleport play. Uh, alam mo yun, yung flash teleport play. Yeah, the and common. Kahit, na, kahit naman, mag try ng teleport plays, see either Kathy or Juan Tomat here. There's, there's always that heroic charge keepers verdict for Kathy, yes. as well as Juan Tomat with actually every, almost everything the yeah. devastating blow, the dredge line, and the ultimate stopping the possibility of the teleport. So it's either they teleport at the same time, tapos magkita nasa sa baba, or okay tayo maglaban din sa top lane, doon tayo sa baba, para uh -oh. at least a steak, di ba? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the damage is there no one can do sa bot lane. Meanwhile, hey. the hook will land. Itera still adding. Oh, Jumbo goes in. Oh, the tower connects with the hits, and he's wow. gonna actually block the ultimate war. That was beautiful for me, my friend. Can you finalize the hit? No, that missed uh, the two-shot garage from the Ezreal will miss by an inch. And <laughs> ultimates are being blocked and missed left and right in that bottom lane. Holy, that was amazing by Wura there. Flashing in just to block the the damage, the the rocket from Jinx. What a true bro here by Wura. Jomi could have yeah. died kung tumama naman yun. Bros before, yeah. Before, yeah. Before, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I can say that on stream. No, I don't but think you, so. Yeah, that's, ah. that's, like, that's the bro code number one, guys. If you know what it is, you know what it is. And Watch there's Lantern. Is that it? That's Here he comes. Print. He's level 6. Oh, there you go. It's going to be a 3v1 in the bottom lane. Who's going to get the finalized kill? It's going to be Amir Khan with the Thunderlord's decree. And they can translate that into the dragon if they so desire do, to do so. Woo. Oh, Kathy in the top lane. You have a small hammer, but that hammer is the real deal. That's the Thor's hammer just, just slapping away at Juan Tamad. He only has a rusty anchor. What can he do with that. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna be. Uh, he's not gonna complete that Sunfire Cape. So. Oh, sad. But then, obviously, the trade. Kathy really knows his his thing there for Poppy, and the bubuli lang dito si Nautilus. Yeah. Not only does this sort of deny Nautilus of the farm, but it also relieves pressure in the other lanes. He cannot make a teleport play if lagi siyang napupush sa, ka, sa sarili niyang lane. And just as you said, even though man mag try naman mag teleport itong si Nautilus, Poppy has its eyes on the submarine. Submarine patawag ni Manjin. Yeah, but. I, but I he's an it's, astronaut it's now. It's submariner. Oh, wait, wait. So, is he using the skin? Oh, yeah. He's an astronaut. So he's, Poppy has his eyes on the submarine. Fudge! It's, it's, um, not astronaut guys it's astronaut so astronautalist yeah astronaut so yeah <laughs> yeah it's all right hindi siya makaka ano talaga but meanwhile wow nice stun connects onto bala but while on top lane another stun is connecting that's gonna be onto one tomorrow it's going to be the slow death god but this is the most it's exciting to watch because of the effects but it's the <laughs> slowest damage dealing Top players as we're looking at right now, but here comes Tres. He has his ultimate ready and waiting. Goes in for the knockup and one the bot unless he is gonna be saved by Torchic. He's not gonna survive. Oh! There is the ultimate, but it's just a second too late. Torchic is now angry. He goes with the fire. Hey, there you go. He's gonna go no in matter. with the hook. Another only flag and track for him. Oh, Tress is now book. going to be the jungler's going down, and Kathy, he is, Burning. he has the Bobby Sinner. It's gonna be double kill for the Poppy. That was, uh, that was a lot of clash. Grabe. And the, the, the winning point there is that 
Meron red buff to si Cathy. Obviously, he's mag 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 gonna win the trade. Meanwhile, here in the bot lane, are they gonna go aggressive? Guess not. Uh, may minion clear na lang to si Kithera. That's a bot lane gone. And all lanes are sort of... Oh, two lanes are winning here for UI side. Obviously, the, the CS tower lead is there. Oh, wow, another hook connects, and there's going to be the Flame Choppers gonna stop the exit path of Wura, but it's not going to be enough as Jobim actually executing the support of UI. Now it's going to be a 3v1 in that bottom lane, 4v1, and you know what, Katera? You're a god, but here comes the demigods. It's going to be Olfu just clearing out these two members of the University of Iloilo Ilo and a possible dragon into that bot tier one. That was very aggressive of University of Iloilo. Ilo. I mean, they could have backed out after clearing at least one wave, but they decided to stay and probably try to take a kill. Meanwhile, that's a teleport. UI not going to give up this dragon just yet. It's going to be 4v3. They have. The Poppy just going in, there's wow. the Demacia with the Cataclysm just bursting down the Ezreal. And here comes Whoa. a three man soul shackles from the Morgana, adding insult to the injury. They're just gonna push out ONFU, they have no answer for this. And they even pop the egg. They're gonna have an omelet for breakfast. And it's going to be a four for nothing with the dragon gonna be taken by University of Ilo Ilo. Even Battle with some style points gonna use that mastery icon in the middle of two turrets. Oh my god, this early into the game, 4 0 3 on the poppy, 2 0 4 on Amir Khan, and they get a dragon as well. That's a bonus for them. That was not intended. I mean, yeah, you get the kill on two people in the bot lane. Sure, they got overconfident, but the exchange after that, Olfu was not prepared to fight that one. <sighs> yeah, I was catching my breath there. <laughs> it's yeah, all right. I can tell. And after that, they translated that into a turret. So that's two turrets down for uh, Our Lady of Fatima University. Only one first year turret stands, and that's Damn. that's top lane. Um, you are just taking things really, really well. Their their movements are just they know when to fight. Yeah, they know when to fight. Well, Kanina Mejo overconfident those to get there, but looks like the first item Runans here for. Um, for the Jinx. Yeah, I think it's fine. Clear. Yeah, because they're after, they're, they're doing well. Their pace matches the man. Uh, yeah, and I think yeah. just because the Jinx has, Jinx has been nerfed a little bit, like, you know, when you tran uh, when you go for the switcheroo. The attack speed? Yeah, it uh -huh. does go very crappy. And he does have the call no money, so they're really betting that the Jinx just go in for a, f a, first, t uh, a first farm item. Yeah. Like the Runans to get much more CS and then the call activating much more earlier so that he can get that second item, which is which could be an infinity edge really, really easy. That's gonna be a three man gag in the bottom lane. Kithera, can you get the kill so close? Jobin was very low in HP, but Kithera didn't have enough damage. That's going to be the 3v1. But while that is happening, Rift Herald shall be given to the side of UI and a possible. Top tier one going down. Oh, Bala, he's so aggressive. He gets the hook, connects with the Dark Binding, but he's just too tanky. That Nautilus isn't a Submariner. You know, he has arm. He doesn't have this armor for nothing. I'm not sure he's what the tanky. plan was there for Kithera. Overextending all alone without any vision at all. They, they could have, you know, just cleared the wave and then backed off, but... Because of what they did, they lost one turret. They did not exchange anything from that play. Well, they did get Rift Herald, and we'll probably get this first year. But can you imagine if they... There's a possibility naman that you can't trade. I, I mean, you... Can't trade without losing dying. Losing something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's not a trade if you do that. Yeah, it's a... It's a... It's a taking, clear advantage. Yeah, it's a clear advantage. So... They're, well, but then... It's, it's invasion. Still, yeah, it is invasion. Yeah, like, it is. When yeah. you invade... You get something without dying. Or pl pl no, plundering. Isn't that right? Okay. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so enthusiastic, Panaman. But yeah. It's the finals. Sure. Why can't I be enthusiastic? Of course. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I mean, about your. What, what, what's the term again? Plundering. Plundering. <laughs> enthusiastic about that. But yeah, they have to uh, be very worried. Of uh, the movement of University of Ilo Ilo. That's Apa's Diamond making the opening for everybody here. On the side, the hook almost connects. And Kitera got stuck between two terrains there. Kaya siya flash. Yeah. 
He's Very... going to be poking with yeah. the rocket top. Well, they do have poke naman yung all food. Have a decent amount of wave wave clear from the Q of Torquing and the ultimate from Anivia, but with the with the buff by Kathy. Let's see what's gonna happen. Nice. Steadfast present there is from the Poppy, just stopping the Nautilus from even hooking in. Now on the side, you can see the Jobim as well as Torch are a little bit exposed. And Torch is taking so much damage. There's the Keeper spreading a slap away. The Trundle is going Whoa. to be the members of UI now trying to engage. It's going to be the one for one. But Tress is running for his life. He connects. Oh, you see Kathy here. It's going to be the 3v1. He is going to go down. There's just too much damage. Oh, he blasts away. Whoa. Where is Katera? He's going to be handling the Ezreal. Ezreal gets the double kill. He he has so much armor from that Iceborne Gods, and because of the Runan's Hurricane, there is not enough damage for the Jinx, and it's going to be the ace for our Lady of Fatima University. That was so messy from University of Ilo Ilo. It's like they don't know who to target first, and that was a great play from Jobim to actually be the flanker in this game and try to get Kithera uh, from the from the back line, and they did it so well. Meanwhile, Tres just wanted to assassinate the the Graves. Yeah. He succeeded, but in exchange of what? In exchange of an ace for uh, Our Lady of Fatima University. And they the did so well, taking advantage of the mistakes of UI. And the problem with that is that UI they have a combo system here when they go in for the fights. Yeah. Tress has to go in with the Cataclysm, and then Amir Khan can follow up with the Soul Shackles, but Amir Khan was the first one to die in the side of UI. So exactly. when he was down, <laughs> as well as Tress running away for his life, there was no real in, you know, team fight potential for UI. Yes, you have the Poppy, but then, I don't know, for some reason, Kathy goes in for a 3v1. Exactly! It's like, they have their own fight. And yes, I do agree with you, Astra. They did not play with their skills well, their AoE skills well. That could have been better for UI. But great job on Olfu punishing them with that sort of aggressive and overconfident play. If they keep making these kinds of mistakes, I don't think Jinx will be able to safely transition uh, compared to Jobim here and Torkic and Stuzzy. You gotta fear Stuzzy's late game here on Anivia. Can easily pop out um, uh, the Jinx with the, with one combo with the Q yes. and the E, and without any uh, defensive spells. For example, probably a Hex Drinker and uh, in Amo for for the Jinx. I don't think she can survive later on the, the late game. Now it's going to be the dragon fight. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Wura. Okay, enough, enough jibber jabber. Let's go in for the fight. Yeah, yeah. Like the, everybody's playing safe. This is oh, take sad. note. This is game three. It might be a reverse sweep or like a game five kind of thing where moment of truth, moment of truth for both of these schools. But of course, University of Ilo Ilo do not want to risk it anymore. Nice ultimate there coming out of Jobim. Bala gets caught out by the top laner of OLFU, but it's not enough. They're getting pushed out by the OLFU squad and they will get that Dragon for relatively free. Kithera is being slapped in that jungle site. There's the oh. ultimate. They're gonna get the double man now because there's so much damage coming in from the Graves and believe he got a two-man ultimate there and it's Kithera running for his life. One Tamad, he is just going for the lazy way and he's just walking all over the members of UI is going to be Tress going in, but is it too oh. greedy from the side of OLFU that they just get aced by the UI members? They got too cocky from that uh, previous fight that they just forced in. And look at this, there's so many low HP members on the side of UI. They could have played that well, but they didn't. Yes, and the thing is here with the attack speed, uh, Jinx, as well with the E from Thresh, I mean the, yeah, the E, it's gonna work so well with the uh, attack speed Dito for everybody in terms of taking down turrets really fast once all Fu is losing its members or dead, you know, trying to respawn pa. And the dragon went to UI, or no, it went to all Fu, I believe. Yeah. But then the collapse from University of Ilo Ilo, they made a pincer move. Yeah, it I was believe really, dun, really good. Yeah, I believe in Saklash Tim Palanayon. I think Thress actually um, contained Stussy and Jobim. Can you see the sa Saklash? I just want to see a replay so that you can, you know, analyze it first. Let's look at that. Yeah, there's a replay. That's the box actually there. Jobim! 
in twerking study in one backline area. And oh that is God. the knack of two, three man actually. Trapped in the cataclysm, twerking actually outside. Oh, okay. And Kathy, and then the bird is alone with two frontliners here. Kithera with a red buff who's able to kite safely. And that's two people that are able to peel for her. Apas Dayan Bala really low right now. And Amir Khan held on so tightly to the to the flash. Thress repositions himself as a frontliner for Kithera. And the Q of Graves actually goes back to Kithera, but it's not enough. The damage's not enough there. Nobody dies from University of Ilo Ilo. Yeah. And that was very beautiful there from Thress. Yeah, definitely. And this is why, honestly, that's why I told you before the, the stream started, Apas Dayumbla is a is a Thresh Lord. Yeah, man. They have a lot of lords in their uh in their University of Ilo, Ilo roster, they are, you know, the Lords of Winterfell. Huh. Looking for that Season 6, guys. Alright, so it's going to be the top tier 3 being seized by the members of UI. They now have a 5,000 gold advantage. Schwantamon actually gets a hook, but that's a hook onto Whoa. the Black Spelled or Black Shielded. Kithera here is gonna get caught out because Whoa. he got counter hooked by Bala. And that's just going to be a freebie in the top lane as the frontliner of ONFU goes down. Oh my, so that's gonna be definitely a turret for them. Apasai Bala making the plays and the follow up of Amir Khan as well. You can see University of Ilo Ilo grabbing synergy nila dito. You can see that they're moving as a team as well. Although na ace nga sila, I think it was overconfident. Uh, confidence yung nakapagtalo sa kanila kanina. Ex Kathy just pushing Job in QD away and just pressuring bot play. Meanwhile, Kutera, as everyone dressed, actually trying to go in. Oh, they stun him! He doesn't have his Zonius anymore. Will he be forced to flash away? He doesn't have flash anymore, but... That was actually pretty nice there from Thress. Actually just trying to be the front line from Armour Khan so that he doesn't get caught out. And while that was happening in the top lane, bottom lane, Kathy was putting some pressure into the bots here too. Is it low in HP? Nope. But nope. still, he does create Whoa! some... Whoa! What now? It's the code! Oi! It's the code! I didn't see it there. <laughs> <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> Alrighty! Guess the missing code. Are your clients open? Paunahan ng laban dito. Ang code ay 1TJBM7JMJM7H41 blank G. So guess the missing code. It could be a number. It could be a letter. Paunahan. Paunahan. Paunahan ang laban. It's either gonna be a DJ Sona a spirit guard or deer or a pulse fire Azriel. You'll be the one to figure it out. To figure it out. Kung ano yung makukuha yung skin. But ayun. Congratulations man. Kung sino ang nanalo ng skin. I'm pretty sure. Meron dyan mga fast hands keyboard warriors watching the stream right now. And yeah. Congratulations. Alright. So now Dragon will be up in about two minutes. And it looks like UI are saying we want this. We really, really want this. Oh yeah, grabe na yung lead nga ng University of Ilo Ilo in terms of gold. And their scaling works pretty well in terms of, you know, that's a jinx with a with a very... Oh, Apatayan ba? He's getting caught out just a little bit here, but there's the Black Shield gonna, you know, provide some safety. Make him feel safe in the arms of Amir Khan. And there will be no follow-up on the side of Ofu. Oh! Whoa! That's red buff for you, but he actually goes in. Kithera uses that? the ultimate, almost gets the snipe. Oh Ooh. my god, that was a beautiful initiate from Thress. And it looks like UI are just going to collide. They're just going to snow all over the members of our native Batman University. There's Jobin going down, there's Wantamad going down. It's only going to be Stussy, Torchic, and Wura trying to defend. But how can they do so? UI are just stampeding over like a monster truck over this game. Jobin. Arcing, shifting in front of the front line of University of Ilo Ilo. That's not what you want. You'd want to keep your uh, repositioning spell, your dashes, your your blinks intact. Because when UI goes in, that is the strength of their comp sana, is their repositioning abilities. These are not for UI, they're pretty much all in. So, actually, very aggressive in that play and nobody's gonna save you there's no morgana spell shield there yeah. you don't have any qss you don't have a you don't have a flash even i think it was because of kithera opening up with some initial harass nah okay we're gonna try to move away from the super mega death rocket and then i tress you're there yeah okay kappa kappa no it it wasn't the best 
for from Jobim. And meanwhile, vision control from University of Ido Ido allows them to make those kinds of plays. You saw X Cathy going for the flag, Thresh going from the side. It was so difficult for all Fu to try and heal and focus on one single target when their job is just to keep running away because they obviously did not have the advantage in terms of positioning. Jobim was obviously pretty low, doesn't have flash anymore, had to flash because of the super mega death rocket by Kithera. And it's all Fu again uh, playing from behind and it's them just trying to play on the defensive. University of Ilo Ilo very active in their map control and dominance in terms of finding these opportunities where Potu Alfu is very not prepared in taking on these initiates from them. Yes, and now Baron is in the sights of UI. Their user interface is saying, let's take Baron. Bing, bing, the end. Bing, 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 bing. And There's the VLC activating the Baron. What a... What a play. What, what a, a play. DM play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and, thank you for that. And uh, right now, it's just them trying to... It's just UI just scaring away all of so that they can take the barrier. Oh! It control. connects! He goes in and you don't even have the chance to Arcane Shift away because that was just a beautiful connection of CCs from the side of UI. Was that blind? It's not blind. Okay, but There's a ward. still, that was a fat, dark binding coming out yeah. of our time. The you gotta side, fear. it was the very side that hit Kithera here. Ah, okay. Kathy charging up the Keeper's Verdict. He wants to slap some people away. Here comes Fala with a two-man play and the follow-up with the box. Can they do so? This is the beautiful initiate, counter-initiate from Stussy. If it could have actually kept his Whoa. ultimate online, but it didn't go online for the duration of that fight. And it Whoa. looks like University of Ilo Ilo gets themselves a 2 for 0 oh, without another true contestion from the side of Our Lady Fatima University. I just noticed somebody put a pink war during the match. Another oh. Dark Binding! He goes in. That's the second one that I've seen that allows them to go for oh, another pick. Him. Job him! Whoa. You're going insane, man! That was... What? what? Risky. That was so risky. I think he just went insane, you know? Oh, I think... What are you? They can see you jumping behind that. Is he like totem. disconnected or something? I don't know. <laughs> they can see you, man. Meanwhile, just three members defending the base of all food there. Oh, and Kathy. Kathy actually was trapped in between the walls. For the second the time. Yeah, for the second oh, time. Oh, Kidera, he might get caught out there. Stay ignite. They're trying to go in, but Amir Khan actually uses his own soul shackles and his own body to stop the Ooh. damage from Stussy. He could have survived, but Stussy with a fadeaway Q, I believe, hit him. And now it's the members of Olfu going in ham into UI. They're just picking off the bones here, but is it enough for them to mount the comeback? That's going to be his second kill. They're looking for another one. Kitera is very far, but this opens up a possibility for a Baron take here for the side of Our Lady of Fatima University. Wave is in favor of University of Iloilo for the top side. And that's Kitera going to the bot lane. Because obviously, it, he cannot stop the Baron take all alone. Does he have the rocket? You can throw a, you yeah, can be a wild turtle or throw an exo rampage and do a steal with a rocket. And I guess that oh, is. Oh, he's too, looking for it though. He's looking for it too, too, too early. Too early. And it was still a chance. Meanwhile, Jarvan the fourth actually trying to bother them right now. But that's the second Baron of the game. But that's a, that's a Baron for Our Lady of University. Or Our Lady of Fatima University. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Whew. All right. So. It's now Our Lady of Fatima University capitalizing on the aggressiveness of UI and they have a legit chance to slow down the pace of the game, get that gold lead lower or get a push out of that barrel bump. There's three outside turrets from the base of UI that they can set up. There's, yeah, there's all tier twos. Actually, tier one is actually alive in the top lane. I didn't yeah. know that. They it's went still down. alive and very healthy. Yeah, but so they can, you know, use at least one Tamad with a Baron buff to push the top lane, get themselves even more gold so that they can keep stacking up Jobim and Stussy because the damage is there. It's just that they don't have, I don't know, as well as yung tanky items than ni Juan Tamad, mm -hmm. and possibly, you know, a better counter engage in the team fights, but you have to damage Tamad. So they're, I would say, like, the, the conditions for them to actually get back in this game is. To, well, of course, uh, belittle or 
squeeze in squeeze that in. Uh, gold lead, the 9,000 gold lead from UI, as well as stop the insane initiations from Thress, as well as Kathy. I think it just a, a really good ice pillar or crystalline wall will be enough. So it's on to Stussy as well as Wura to, you know, um, stave off this insane Jarvan initiates coming in from Tres. Exactly. And yun nga, they are very reliant on to the pillar of ice. Pillar of ice? Pillar of yeah, ice pillar. Yeah, I, the ice pillar it's the same of, thing. of uh, Trundle and Stuzzy as well to get the stun in so that they can initiate. But that's the problem. Meanwhile, Tres, uh, meanwhile, University of Ila Ila has so many options and where they can change their, their CC as well. There's the hook. There's the Cataclysm, there's the Binding. It just chains so well, and they have enough damage to try and burst someone down immediately. And that's a Ginsu's Rage Blade on Kithera. Wow, so he's gonna be... Splash, Lord. Splash, Splash damage. True that. And wow, his auto attack is insane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Rage Whoa. Blade and passive auto attack from the minigun. Oh, but my. aside from that minigun, look at the damage from the zap. There's the ultimate, but it only hits the bird. Oh, wow. the Dark Binding gets sidestepped. But look at this. Stress is actually going in onto Jobim. There's the hook. He oh. tries to actually predict that it goes over the wall. And it's now UI trying to reposition themselves for a better team fight. Okay. Nice play. Nice knockoff. Yes, Sorry. nice knock up there. And meanwhile, that's Githera still with actually a blue sorcery. That's a blue elixir to, to boost AP. And that's not red, guys. That's not red. That's blue. Thank you for that. All right. So I guess they're just trying. Wait, Jobim? Oh, no, not Jobim. I mean Kithera. Ah, okay. Kithera and the elixir of sorcery. Oh, he's going for a hybrid type of jinx here. Yeah, a hybrid jinx. Showing some new stuff. Yeah, and meanwhile, for, for, you for me. It is actually new for me too. It's uh, sort of I don't see that every day. No red buff from Kithera this time to land more auto attacks. And Jobim, very very questionable lagi yung kanyang positioning. He still does have flash naman and relied too much on uh, the arcane shift. But then if you lose that, he's just gonna be a sitting duck for everybody to Wow, look at the poke down. onto Apas. Oh, Jobim actually arcane shifting in to be even more aggressive. Kithera here, he doesn't even care. He just goes in with the rockets and just, wow, tries to chip away at the HP. But Jobim, you know, he has been patiently waiting with the Mystic Shots and he's slowly chipping down, stopping the aggression of UI in the bottom lane. But you know, in the top lane, it's going to be Kathy against Wantama. This is going to be another oh, yeah. fight. The fight of the tanks. Yeah, they're doing a 1-1-3 one, one, here. They're trying to distract Need to show some yeah. bot lane just actually... so that Kathy and then Dress can push down the wave, add some more pressure, give them some uh, ample time. I thought Dragon was about to spawn. I guess not. Third, actually, they're on their third Dragon up at the University of Ilo Ilo. They ha Poto uh, Ulfu has to respect that. And they're building up their Dragon really fast. Dragon's really fast, and you know I'm still, huh? This build from from Jinx. At least there's still an IE Runan and the Shiv. Well, he has been poking away at the members of Early the Fatim University. And unless, you know, he actually goes in onto Juan Tamad, this damage uh, itemization is not that bad yeah. since, you know, his targets is only Stussy, Jobim, and Torchic. They're, yeah. they're not true tanks, you know? I mean, the itemizations of Torchic is for the, the beefier graves, but to this itemization of Kithera, it's just gonna be, um, how would you say it? Like, rock on paper. Yeah, yeah rock, paper, scissors. Paper wins, but then if you throw a rock, it's, there's, there's a hole in there. Exactly. Best analysis. Analysis. Wow, I just trapped yeah, myself exactly. there. Yeah, exactly. I trapped myself there. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, they know. get the hook on the Stussy. He goes in with a three man play, and it's now going to be UI just initiating right now. America takes so much damage, but he uses the Zoyas. Keeper's burning, flashes away. Duan Tamad, but UI, or rather OLFU, are just trying to stay in this game. Kithera in the backline can't even do anything against Wantamad. Oh my god, Jobim is free hitting the members of UI. There's a double kill, there's the ace. And will they just barrel down mid lane and possibly end this game? There's a lot of cooldown timers into the members of UI. 50 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, a lot of seconds, wow. Oh my god, this is this is why I was worried about Jinx's build. 
you can see, wala siya ka damage damage kila Wantamad, kila Wura. And it would really help if you, you know, get that, what do you call this? Get Lord more, Dominic like, more Dominic's regard, mm. or maybe if they have, they have HP, most likely, you know, Bork would have been well, good, good then as well. Then, well, that's just me. But that's the thing. Kinso will take so much for you to ra ramp up, and you're using the Q, the rocket, the long range rocket AoE, and that's attack speed slower. Uh, slower attack speed yes. compared to the. The machine gun. So if you keep using that, prolonged team fights will not work with you well. You'd want to deal as much DPS as you can, and because of your itemization, you're relying too much on your game too to get the you know yeah. I'm using As sound aside effects. Aside from yeah, and you criticize me on what I did with the Kogma last week. What did you say? The the t -t 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 on the Kogma. <laughs> <laughs> you and have to fire. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> but aside from the itemizations that you're pointing out from the Jinx, uh, it's uh, the forcing of UI like this. Oh! Just going in, he's getting caught out, he's taking too much damage. The poke from OLFU is just too real. The Mystic Shot is just ripping away the HPs of wow. his snipers. They pop the egg, but it's not enough. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. OLFU is just giving themselves a lot with the damage from the Azrael, the tankiness from that Nautilus. And now they have come back from this. They have risen from the grave. And unless I am mistaken, we are gonna see game four, ladies and gentlemen. They are starting themselves up. They are revving. It took a while, but they are now heated up. OLFU don't want to give anything to UI for three. Oh, they want to get that two and two and see if there's going to be a finalist. <laughs> For Our Lady of Fatima University, and after 38 minutes, the damage is just too real between uh, these teams. These are from all who dominating performance. 38 minutes, congratulations for taking uh, their first victory. Jeff to cancel out the victory of UI. All right. Wow. Sorry, I just I just sat down. I was standing <laughs> up from that fight. Yeah. Whew. That was intense. I mean. Great job from Our Lady of Fatima University for not tilting, from losing those two games. Is this gonna be a, a reverse sweep, Kaya? Reverse sweep, or you know the two and two in the possible. Game. Actually, yeah, it's, it can be a reverse sweep because if like yeah. they, if it goes two and two, or and or paasa mm. sweep, paasa game five where you think you're gonna like for for all two, you reverse sweep na sana, but then you're up agad na University of Iloilo. Or it could have been that like. Very clutch game five. Na it's so close. We're so tired, and then oh my god, that one mistake! Holy. Yeah, like yeah. We, we don't know yet. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's break it down for everybody here. A thing that I noticed: they lack the damage from University of Iloilo. Sure, that build's probably gonna work mid game, but then if you look at the scaling, naman ng, ng all full here, ang tank you see, medyo may pagkatangi na tong si Stasi. That's uh. Roa, that's the shield as well. Gonna be really painful. There's cleanse them and for extra safety. Good positioning by Stussy. Tor kick and Jobim. You know, they can easily reposition themselves. And she did the most damage, obviously. But then Jobim. Late game, Ezreal. Everybody went towards almost yeah. Union, the late game. And I think it was just because then that University of Ilogino were just forcing themselves too much on the fight. I saw there in the very final clash. Dress actually went in without proper, you know, follow up from his team. Because yeah. the composition there, then pala of University of Iloilo, doesn't allow for a lot of follow up if you miss, the, if you make it, uh, you know, like you're one second too early. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And wala pang cataclysm note. It's more like Dress awkwardly dashing EQ combo into five into five people, and then pumasok nasi Armier card. There's no follow-up there, and even though they only have one person to deal damage, honestly. X Cathy is just a bruiser. No real DPS person. The mid laner is a Morgana. Anong gagawin? Lalabas siya ng putik. It's just there to heal. 
then as well. I mean, yeah. mid game it could have worked. It could have been really painful yung soul shackles niya. But then again, compared to Graves, Ezreal, and Anivia on the side of Our Lady of Fatima University, five v fives are not going to be an option for University of Iguazu. Yes. Yeah, so that concludes game three in this best of five series. Kasi naman nalo ng game three na ultimate code. Congratulations, congratulations to you, lucky lady or sir. And again. We'll be coming back after a short break for Game 4. We'll see if UI can, you know, win with a 3-1. Or will early the Fatima University, like you said, go in for that reverse sweep and possibly make this a 2-2, making it even more exciting for the League of Legends. Collegiate League 2016 Spring Term Finals. I, of course, GS Asari Tanai. And alongside here with me is... GS Riku. And we'll be right back. There goes the hook, there goes the damage onto Thresh, forces him to flash out, and Bala will take so much damage, but he's tanky enough. Oh, Thunder Khan actually flashes in, what was that for? Oh, okay, he wanted to get the kill onto Juan Tamad, but it's only going to be the flashes being burnt, and nobody wow. going down. That was a three-man. He does have his flash, he does go over the wall. Oh my god, there is another beautiful hook coming in from Bala, and there we go, Katera gets the first blood. What angry! He goes with the fire. I hey, there you go. He's gonna go the in mana. with the hook. Another only oh, flag and drag. <laughs> oh, Tress! It's now off. going to be the junglers going down, and Kathy. He is. He has the Bobby Sinner's gun. You think <laughs> support of UI? Now it's going to be a three v one in that bottom lane. Four v one. And you know what, Katera? You're not gonna give up this dragon just yet. It's gonna be four v three. They have. He's hopping, just going in there is wow. the Demacia with the Cataclysm just bursting down the Ezreal. And here comes Whoa. a three man soul shackles from the Morgana, adding insult to the injury. They're just gonna push out over that field. They have no answer for this. And they even pop the egg. They're gonna have an omelet for breakfast. And it's going to be a four for the cleaner of OLFU. But it's not enough. They're getting pushed out by the OLFU squad. And they will get that dragon for relatively free. Katera is being slapped in that jungle site. There's the oh. ultimate. They're gonna get the double man now because there's so much damage coming in from the graves and believe he got a two-man ultimate there. And it's Katera running for his life. What the man? He is just going for the lazy way and he's just walking all over the members of UI. There's going to be Tress going in but is it too oh. greedy from the side of OLFU that they just get aced? By the UI members, they got two. As everyone Tress actually trying to go in. Oh, Stun. they stun him! He doesn't have his Zonius anymore. Will he be forced to flash away? He doesn't have flash anymore, but that was actually pretty nice there from Tress. Actually, just trying to be the front line from Armor. My oh. god, that was a beautiful initiate from Tress! And it looks like you I are just going to collide. They're just gonna snow all over the members of our native Batman University. There's Jobin going down, there's Phantom going down. It's only going to be Stussy Torchic and Wura trying to slap some people away. Here comes Spala with a two-man play and the follow-up with the Pox. Can they do so? This is the beautiful initiate, counter-initiate from Stussy. If it could have actually kept his Whoa. ultimate online, but it didn't go online for the duration of that fight. And it Whoa. looks like University of Elo Elo gets themselves a super dark binding. He goes in. That's the second one that I've seen that allows them to go for oh, another pick. Don't baby, you're going insane, man. That was what? What? Shackles in his own body to stop the Ooh. damage from Stussy. He could have survived, but Stussy with a... They're just picking off the bones here, but is it enough for them to mount the comeback? That's going to be the second kill. They're looking for another one. Kitara is very far, but this opens up a possibility for a Baron take here for the side of our Liga Fatima University. Wait and play, and it's now going to be UI. Just initiating right now. America takes so much damage, but he uses the Zonius. Keeper's verdict flashes away. Juan Tamad, but... UI, or rather OLFU, are just trying to stay in this game. Kithera in the backline can't even do anything against Wantamad. Oh my god, Jovin is free hitting the members of UI. There's a double kill, there's the ace, and will they just bow down mid This, oh. just going in, he's getting caught out, he's taking too much damage. The pull from OLFU is just too real. The Mystic Shot is just ripping away the HPs of wow. the members. They pop the egg. But it's not enough. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and you are just giving themselves a lot with the damage from the Azrael, the tankiness from that Nautilus.
free time namin, pinag-usapan namin yung mga troll na ginagawa namin habang naglalaro kami. Magbibigay ang isa sa mga kampi namin ng ano, payag kung anong balak, balak namin gawin sa maging katapat namin. Mayarap naging pro player and at the same time estudyante kasi madalas may time conflict, lalo na ngayon may research ako. So madalas hindi ako nakaka-attend ng practice kasi may groupings kami para matapos yung research. So para makamake up doon sa practice ng team namin, nagpa-practice na lang ako ng individual skills ko sa solo queue. And motivated naman kaming lahat na makarating sa finals. So after naman nung semi-finals na nangyari, parang ano, na tumaas yung ego level namin. Kaya ayun, ngayon nasa finals na kami. Vacation is over. Legendary 2016. 